All right, well, first things first, out here in the Northwest, where it's cold and wet during the winter and cold and wet every other time of the year, you're going to want to find a uh, an area of, uh, you know, somewhere that's not going to have any type of moisture in it. And uh, it's pretty much impossible, just as you can see on the ground, there's, you know, it's all covered in snow. It's not covered in snow, it's covered in rain. So here we've got a nice dead stag, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and peel back the uh, first layer of bark here with my tomahawk and get to the dry interior where we have nice dead stringy inner bark. So I'm going to grab my tomahawk over here. This one-handed. As you can see, all oh, that inner bark, great dry tinder, great fire thunder, <clears throat> make a wonderful nest. On a knot. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera and. And go get a good good nest but uh, started for the stove to make some hot coffee in the winter out here all right <clears throat> as you can see here we have our bark the inner bark of that black cottonwood stag I showed you earlier um, essentially what I've been doing is just prying off this inner bark here and uh, processing it into finer fibers uh, these are the ones that actually fell off of my nest um, until eventually I get something that looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the camera, get myself situated, pull out my flint and steel and uh, get this nest started and uh, get it in my gasifying uh, wood stove that I uh, made the other day and see if I can make myself a uh, hot cup of coffee. See you in a second. All right, so in this bag, I have my uh, char cloth and my flint and steel. I'll go ahead and uh, ignite this nest here, start a nice little fire, and uh, see if I can do this uh, by holding the camera in my mouth. Otherwise, I'll just, if it doesn't work, I'll just go ahead and turn it off, and uh, you'll see the uh, magic of camera work with a uh, next uh, uh, instant fire in the next scene. So let's see how this works. That's how you uh, start a char cloth, some flint and steel. Get this in my nest.
no, oh no. And that's how I die. <laughs> that is my cell phone. You can't get away from that even in nature. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can get this down here. Catch. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Too many distractions. My uh, buddy from Forgiveness Daily, his channel, he was uh, out here with me and uh, well, apparently he couldn't find me, so <laughs> um, so that was why there was a text message in the background. Anyway, went ahead and got this fire going nice and strong, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my small kettle set up over this tripod here. I made out of some willow branches and see if I can boil some water out of the snow. All right, well, <clears throat> here I am melting the snow. Right over that nice little fire I got going on there in my little kettle and tripod. And uh, I'll go ahead and update you in a few minutes once the snow has melted and uh, let you know how it tastes. The snow is melting, might as well show you the Nice little river I'm next to. Call them Yakima River in central Washington. Nice and beautiful. So we're mostly melted here. I just wanted to uh, see if I could better display the wood gas since it's uh, about twilight here. Um, you should be able to see the blue flame just a little bit better now that it's almost nighttime. You can see in there the uh, Pilot lights are uh, roaring at full steam. So it appears as though my gasifying wood stove is definitely fully functional. Alright, well, tonight we're not going to be having any coffee. Uh, Matt. <laughs> so that's Matt with. Uh, what is it, Matt? Forgiveness Daily. Forgiveness Daily. That's right. So that's Matt. Um, he's right here making a torch. Anyway, it's night. I'm cold. I'm going home. <laughs> uh, this uh, this gasifying wood stove obviously takes practice. I'm not used to using this small amount of fuel. I was throwing in two large chunks of wood in there, and it just wouldn't burn fast enough. Uh, so it definitely takes practice, but I can see myself using this many times in the future once I get used to it. Uh, nonetheless, today we learned how to start a fire with steel and steel and uh, the inner bark of the black cottonwood so thank you for uh, watching my channel please subscribe to PMW survival as well as daily forgiveness with Matt Panatoni to learn more about Pacific Northwest survival skills thank you very much and have a good night